Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to another video from TW White and Sons. Okay, here we have today an MX5 Roadster Coupe power shift. So the power shift meaning the six speed automatic transmission, making it a super, super rare car. Um, <clears throat> now I'm very well acquainted with this car. Um, I think, yes, I sold this to the previous customer. Um, so the last two customers, it's a three owner car. Um, the last two customers I do know. Um, and um, this is in really beautiful condition. And please do study the photographs. This is a bit of a specialist car. Obviously it's now what 12 years old. This is actually registered in February, 2011. So these really all depends on condition. Yeah. And if you've been looking at these, there's certain things to look out for. And we'll talk about them as I go around the car. Now, um, the previous owner, very nice gentleman, he always puts a private plate on his car with his initials. Um, these aren't quite his initials, um, but he quite liked the, um, I don't know, the format of it, which I can, I can see. Um, now, <clears throat> so if these are your initials, you're in luck. Um, but he's left, he's left the number plate with the car. It's too much aggravation um, taking them off. And he picked up his new car this morning. But the gentleman actually spoke to me via email or communicated via email on Sunday. He was on holiday in Grand Canaria. And um, because they had a bit of bother getting to the airport, because of the size of the boot on this, his good lady said, gave him an ultimatum, we need to change the car. So he's got away um, with another Mazda. He's very happy with the dealership, very happy with the Mazda brand. In fact, this is the second MX-5 he's had. And the gentleman is a car enthusiast, which is why when he brings the cars back, they tend to have a bit of customization. They tend to be, I know it's sad me saying this, cleaner than they than they were when he took them away. Not that we give people dirty cars, of course, but he has a real eye for detail. And he does. Um, these cars are, there's a lot of accessories for MX-5s. Um, obviously there's a massive following and um, they often come back. In fact, they always come back um, um, full of accessories. So <clears throat> on the body of the car, it's lovely. The wheels are all in beautiful condition. Okay, you've got Avon tyres all round. Um, there's no corrosion on the wheels. Um, gentleman's painted the calipers as well. Um, and they're colour coded with just the bottom of the side skirts. They're very tastefully done. Okay. Um, let's have a look around the other side. The near side are, are, are susceptible to curbing. Nope, no curbing there. And no curb in there. Yes, so you have Avon tyres all round. Yeah, he had a thing about tyres. Okay, and look at these Mazda decals on the wheels. Now, obviously, you can take all these things off if they're not, not to your taste, but I think they're very tasteful. Now, when you're looking at these cars, also pay attention to the uh, roof sort of deck lid. Um, you'll often have bubbling, micro blistering. It happens on most yeah, because that's actually made of a plastic composite um, and you get you get like micro blistering. I can't remember um, back when we originally sold this, but we may have actually had this painted. But do 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 check that out. Um, since the gentleman's had the car, he has it all serviced with us. Um, but he also had the drain tube. So on convertible cars, you have drain tubes um, which live behind the back seats behind all these plastics. They have recently been cleaned out. That's what gets you the moisture um, in cars. And if they are really blocked, that's what gets you water ingress. So that's all being done, okay? Now, <clears throat> I have to show you under the bonnet <laughs> um, and go through all these bits and pieces. Now, you have got illuminated scuff plates, tailored car mats. Um, <clears throat> I think this is really nice. Um, now obviously this can all be reversed, um, but he's got some, he's got the bonnet lifts. Now they were an accessory on RX-8, whether they were an accessory on these when new, I'm not entirely sure. Um, he's got a little plaque there, MX-5, he's got the battery cover sort of lid, yeah? And it actually has, um, look, torque settings, which spark plugs to have, etc. Um, I like that, and you've got this um, sort of fancy, uh, rocker cover now i have got the original in the boot so you can just change that over all right now the um power shifts had a strut brace in the front yeah all the two liters did 
or the two litre sports did, I think, which this is based on the strut brace there. But the gentleman's actually fitted one in the rear because he had it from his last car. But these, these bonnet um, struts, I think, are just superb. They should have had them um, from new. And you've got this fuse box cover. Now, I noticed that a lot of cars from Japan often have all these accessories. Um, and they're not necessarily available here through a Mazda dealer. We've got a little Mazda MX-5 plaque there as well. So, let me show you um, in the boot. Oh, you've got alloy pedals as well. Now, the other thing to look out for on MX-5s, they quite often rust here. Um, it's quite normal, in fact. You know, it's quite acceptable, to be honest. This doesn't have any. There's your rear strut brace so that helps especially with convertibles to keep the rigidity uh, this is the rocker cover i was talking about um and we've got the old plates in the car as well okay this was a 60 plate car even though it's a, a 2011 so all good stuff um right this is a bit a bit of kit that i think is really good and um mazda should have offered it really now, to put the hood up and down, you've got a button just there in the middle. Now, once your car is moving, the roof won't, won't, won't work, okay? But um, there's an accessory the gentleman's got. It bypasses that, so you can actually put the hood up and down um, up to 30 miles an hour. So, like, you know, if you're at a set of traffic lights or something, you could sort of pull away slowly whilst the roof completes its um, going up or going down um, process. Um, and the other thing as well, it's touch button. So look at this, I wanna show you this. So I'm gonna start the car. So if I press roof up, the roof, and I've never been able to do this before because it's only been me taking the videos on my own. Look at that, so you can actually watch your roof go up and down. So brilliant accessory, he was so happy to show me that this morning and I must say, <laughs> I think it's a very decent, um, worthwhile accessory, all right? So, that's the only manual piece you've got to do, all right? So that, this is the car with the roof up, um, and that's just done here, okay? You've got a six-speed auto gearbox with paddle shifts. You've got climate control, air conditioning, heated seats, CD player. You've got auxiliary. Um, I think you can stream music to this, but it's, I say it's a bit old now, so probably not as because you do have bluetooth not as compatible with maybe modern phones but you can get a bluetooth receiver that plugs in there then you can stream all your music very very easily i've got an old classic car myself um which i do that with now this car started off life in west london at some friends of ours mkg 3000 so they are still going very nice people um and they obviously sold the car new and then there are now little wick green Mazda in Maidenhead, which isn't far from there, did its first service. Now, I don't think they're about anymore. Um, then they did the second service. Then MKG um, back on the scene in 14. Okay. Now, Mazda have a digital service record. There's a gap here. But we we started to know the car in 2021. So we serviced it in 2021, pre-sales prep. Um, we sold it again, that was a pre-sales prep, then we serviced it um, in 2022, serviced it 2023, and I remember when we serviced it, we did things like all the drop links and bits and pieces, all the things that are very common on an MX-5. Now, the other <coughs> key question on these cars is, what's the underside like, what's the subframe like, because there's a lot of exposed metal and that I can all get all rusty and crusty. Now I got down on my hands and knees earlier, I took a mat out of the car, I didn't wanna kill my knees, and I had a look. This car is lovely underneath, it really is. It is, it is in terms of um, um, what the underside's like, I'd say it's nine out of 10. 10 out of 10 is like brand new, uh, but it's really nice. Normally they're all sort of really corroded, um, and they've had lots of underseals slapped all over them, or, and you can't even get the nuts to adjust the camber and whatnot, this is all good. Okay, um, so this is a this is a very very nice example. We really want this to go to an enthusiast like the previous owner to really appreciate the car. Um, 
if there's any questions about the vehicle please don't hesitate to get in touch and should that be outside our regular work working hours don't let that prevent you um we we quite often respond out of hours you can pick up the phone leave a voicemail we get pinged the voicemail we can listen to it and um give you a call back um or send us an email Part exchange, extremely welcome. In fact, we really want your part exchange. I actively seek part exchanges. I want your part exchange, so you'll get the best deal with a part exchange. Now, you will also get a year's Mazda used car warranty. That's the Mazda ZZ Plus warranty, um, which is a follow-on from the manufacturer's warranty. Okay, that comes with roadside assistance for a year, and it also comes with uh, MOT insurance for a year. So should it fail, it's next MOT, um, there are certain items that are covered. Okay, sorry, I didn't mention the miles. It's fifty-one nine two seven is the miles. Um, so, uh, I'm sure that you'll get cheaper ones out there. But as I say, it's really the condition and the warranty. But mainly condition, really. You know, and if we weren't happy with the condition, you wouldn't get such a comprehensive warranty. So, um, this is a very good example. It deserves to be garaged. All right. So all you garage owners out there, I want you inquiring. This, this, I say, this is a car um, that deserves to be pampered. So you know about the warranty. There's warranty extension facilities. Part exchange facilities are second to none. I can send you more photos, videos, any more information on this car that you require. Okay? And if you dealt with us before, thank you so much for considering us again. If you've not, do check out our reviews. It'll give you a good idea of what sort of people we are to do business with. If you're out of area, um, you know, just get in touch. Let's see what we can do. If we need to bring the car to you um, or arrange some form of delivery. Okay. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed doing this and uh, exploring all the accessories that I was I was um, shown this morning. And I know the gentleman's going to be watching this video. So thank you. Without mentioning any names, thank you very much for the car. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.